What is going on y'all in this video? I'm going to share with you how I like to do smoked northern. Um, step one of the video is going to be kind of taking it off the fish and flaying it and getting it ready for the brine. Step two is going to be doing that brining process and getting it ready for the smoker and then doing the smoke process on my pellet grill that I do. And then step three will actually be um, the recipe for the smoked northern dip that I like the best. So let's check it out. Okay, we are going to clean these pike up in regards to um, if you're going to smoke them or pickle them and you don't really care about the Y bones. So as you can see, this one is a little beat up, kind of missing a gill plate, but basically I'm just gonna come down with my electric fillet knife behind the gill plate to the backbone or the um, rib bones, through the rib bones along the backbone here and just all the way through. So you can kind of come down, come down until you feel that, and then I'm just going to kind of turn it, go all the way across. You shouldn't have to worry about anything, we should be coming under these, these lower fins here, and then on the top side of the anal fin. like that I'm not missing any meat up here I'm just gonna flip it around kind of the same tactic sometimes even holding the play helps out go and there you can see that there is barely any meat left on that fish so you can see here's the rib cage right here runs right along there so what I usually do is kind of just put my tip down and kind of follow that rib cage initially Try not to go down too far because then you're kind of missing out on some meat, some rib meat. So my second pass, I'll kind of like face it away from me then since you're already kind of under the rib cage. And then once you get really under it, you can almost lift up a little bit on them. the rib cage out you can take off your bottom fins here and a little bit of this belly meat seeing there's not much on there that way the fillet looks all pretty nice and then i'm just going to take it off the skin i just put my fork right there and um, fillet down with with pike you want to be kind of careful because their skin is so soft and not really super scaly. Um, you can go through the skin pretty easily with an electric flay knife or any like really sharp knife. So as soon as you start feeling getting hung up, just angle it up a little bit until you start um, going smooth again. And then you can kind of angle back down. So there I kind of got hung up a little bit. I started feeling a little tension. I'm gonna angle up a little bit. all the way through and there you'll see no meat left on that skin with a nice pike fillet there we got done cleaning those northern yesterday we put them in some water some salt water actually overnight and that just kind of helps clean out any blood in them so i'm going to rinse these and then i'm going to put them in a brine overnight to smoke tomorrow 
What your brine is gonna consist of is just some salt and then brown sugar. Probably gonna do a cup of each into a very large, bigger than this, um, pot to put in the fridge so that it's covering all the fish and we got plenty of, of salt and brine in there. I filled um, my pot probably about halfway up. I don't know, I would probably guess there's probably like six cups of water in there. So I'm gonna take my salt and do a cup of that. All right, so we got about a cup of salt. I'm gonna add that in. And we need a cup of brown sugar. I got about a cup there, probably even two cups. I don't mind going a little heavy on the brown sugar just cause that's gonna kind of give it a little bit more sweet flavor. We're gonna get this stirred up. I'd stir it for about five minutes so that it's really um, dissolved into the water. Then we'll add our Northern Pike. Kind of looks like a little tea colored after you're all done. And then we're just gonna toss in our fish. For this batch, I'm doing six fillets. All about, well, you saw the the um, filleting earlier, so you can get a decent idea how big these fish are, but probably mid to upper 20s. So you can see we've got plenty of water, which is good. Um, so yeah, we're just going to toss this in the fridge. And then uh, it's 5.30 right now. I'll probably start smoking tomorrow at like nine o'clock. Got the smoker already, just going to dump my brine. Then what you wanna do is just rinse them off with some cold water real quick. I'll just spray these, I'll just spray these down and then We'll put them on the rack to smoke. All right, I got the Northern Pike all laid out. I had to do them hor horizontally. I wish I could do them vertically, but it is what it is. They're a little bit long. They'd be hanging off for a little bit. But anyways, that's going to do it. I'm going to toss them on the smoker in a little bit for maybe an hour or two, probably two hours. And I'll kind of show you at what point that I like to take them off. I don't like them super dry and I don't like them obviously not smoked all the way to a little bit of dryness. So that'll be perfect for a dip. Got the smoker going at, or the pellet grill going at 225. Set at 225. I'm just gonna set these in. Okay, got them set in there. And we're gonna check them in about a half hour. See how they're doing. All right, it's been another half hour see that the edges are getting pretty um, a little more solid still pretty squishy though so I'm gonna give it another probably half hour and then we'll be good so these crispy edges will actually give it a little more texture in the mixture um, when you make your dip all right it took a little bit longer than expected but we got them all done. You can tell by squishing them, they're not completely dry, which is good and easy to do with pikes. You know, they're not very oily, but um, other spots are kind of crunchy, which is good too, give it good texture. Now that I got two hands, there's a top loin and uh, the belly meat. So you really can just split that, which I already kind of did. We'll just set that aside for now. Okay, so now what you want to do, here, let me grab half of it. See, this one's a little bit bigger. You can already see some of these pin bones, or I mean Y bones. I don't know why I keep calling them pin bones. These Y bones sticking out. So this is the skin side. If you face it, the inside, you can see this another vertical line right here. So what you want to do is kind of bend that down and just peel that bottom half while kind of pressing or having pressure on this top part. And if you peel down slowly, 
There's a decent picture of it. You can see all of those Y bones right there. So then what I do is I just kind of pinch down tight here and pull and all those Y bones come out there. Hopefully you can see that pretty yeah. decent. So um, on the little, like I was saying, the little ones are a little bit tougher, but you can see all of these sticking out now. So you just grab them, pinch out, work your way up. You can grab them in bunches if you want. Sometimes a little meat sticks to the Y part, but otherwise they come out pretty clean. It is the next day and we're gonna put our fish dip together. We got a whole um, bunch of fish that I went through and picked out all the Y bones. Then you can see here that I broke it down a little bit further on some of it, probably about two cups worth into smaller chunks. Ingredients that you're gonna need for the dip is lime or lemon juice. Um, I'm going with Old Bay seasoning. You can use whatever you like, Worcestershire and some hot sauce if you like, and then cream cheese. Cream cheese, I would recommend using the whipped kind. It's a lot easier to mix, um, but this is all we had, so I'm gonna roll with that. Um, for about two cups of broken down fish, I'm gonna probably use like four tablespoons of cream cheese and then kind of just mix the ingredients. You can kind of add stuff as you go to see it and then taste it to see what it needs. We got our three to four tablespoons of cream cheese. We're gonna throw it in the mic for 30 seconds to get it warmed up. Now it'll be easy to mix the fish in. Put our fish into the melted cream cheese. And make a mess while doing it. Get this mixed up. Our lime juice. Probably like a tablespoon. Toss in some Old Bay. A couple dabs of Worcestershire. I'm gonna do a little bit of sriracha. Get it mixed up. There you have it. Smoked Northern Pike dip. Super good, let's give it a taste here. So I recommend Ritz. We got wheat thins tonight, so going in baby. So I will say the dip's a little warm right now from the warmed up cream cheese. Throw it in the refrigerator, get it cold, and it's super good. Check it out. It's good stuff.